Hey guys, this is Poet Spice here, and I'm just going to do a little haul based on some stuff I bought for journaling and my planners and so forth for now, writing, Bible, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just did a, a video not too long ago unboxing my Sterling Ink five year planner. So I bought this one. It's in the mist, it's got the gold pages. It comes with a stamp set to date your planner because it's a five year undated. In that, you have no months, you have no weeks, and the days are just dated by month and date, not day. So it doesn't say February 24th, Monday, because you know in five years it would be different. So they gave you <coughs> stamps to match the font for the year you're using. And they included it in this cute little package with a little mini acrylic block. How cute. So there's that. Now on my video where I unboxed it, I asked if anybody had any other ideas of how to use a five-year diary, what they use it for. I'm thinking of using, I originally bought it to do like little Bible verses or whatever. And then like if I was studying something or looking at a particular subject and then so I could see next year, have I improved, whatever, am I still looking at the same things over and over again? You know, that kind of thing. And then I purchased these stickers from Sterling Inc. So that'll be starting in, I guess technically I could start it now since it's undated, but it's made to start in 2025, 2025. Mm -hmm. You can also let me know if you would like to see any setup videos of my planners before, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I bought a cover. I bought this cover set. So I bought this Midori notebook and it came with a clear cover. And it is a grid dot notebook. And I have found out after using the Hobonichi, I definitely prefer grid paper <laughs> than lined for journals. So, or my planners. So I got this one with the clear cover, um, but I put the clear cover on my half year sterling ink. But I think I'm going to end up using this with it. I just can't figure out because... And let me know if you got some ideas because I need to keep like a health, wellness, what you eat, um, like maybe steps, that kind of thing and yoga together, right? But I don't want to have like 16 different planners. And so I was trying to figure out how I could get it into my other one, but I don't think there's enough room for me to write like what I ate every day, figure out the points. Cause I'm still, I have some old, um, Weight Watcher stuff, and so I know they're going to the Ozempic or whatever their little meds are, but when I was actually counting the points and the, the portions, it was helping me. So I'm going to try that again and not go through the whole whatever, but um, I need somewhere to like keep what I eat, but I also journal, so and I kind of was trying to keep it all together. So I don't know if I'm going to use this and my whatever. Anyway, I guess I'll get to that later. <laughs> just like it's so confusing. I don't know. All right. Now, these are all Moleskine journals. Okay. So I was trying to figure out what I was going to do if I was going to do a different kind of thing for my planner journal, whatever, reading journal. And I was watching a video. I cannot remember her name because I'm not subscribed. I just happen to watch her sometimes. And um, she just totally loves Moleskines. And I've always wondered, you know, what the big fuss was, yada, yada. Um, but she was saying that they had a major sale because these are like, I got them on Amazon, by the way, so that they were having a major sale, like $3 and $5 where they're normally like $18, $20. You know, I ain't paying that much money for a note, just plain notebook. So I went and I picked up four different ones to figure out, you know, so I got this one and you can see it says 2024 and it is lined. It's got your personal data. So I can't get this page unstuck, but know your numbers it's got your plan your calendar it's got a 2025 calendar i didn't really pay attention to that that's pretty cool then you have the monthlies now they are a month on one page so that's kind of 
hard to write down. But if I was using this for like writing or if I was using this like this part as my health journal or whatever, there's plenty of pages that I could write on. Um, Cause you'd have each day and then you don't even have to really use the day, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. And since it was like three bucks, I'm like, okay, so it is dated for 2024, but that's not a big deal. You can, whatever it is lined. But like I said, I wanted to see what they were like. It's got this cream paper. There is a little bookmarky thing and it has no blank pages. So I guess it's got like two, three, four, four blank pages at the end or something like that. Then you have this and it did come with some little tiny weird stickers, you know, those generic ones you get. So, some little alphas, <laughs> little smiley faces, sad faces. Bill, pay a bill, da, 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 I guess. So it did come with that and it obviously has this little pocket and then it has this thing here. So I got that. Then I got this one, and you can still see. This one is a hardcover. And it was weird because the hardcover was cheaper than the softcover. Go figure. Of course, it's blue, so I, you know, I looked at that. And it says it's plain. And so you've got all these same stuff in the front. Be tired. I'm tired. I should not be tired. But this is all blank paper. And so I was like, well, let's see what that is like. Because you know? this could be any type of journal or whatever. Once again, in the back, you've got like this little thing. They give you a quality control page. And I don't know if there are any. Nope, there's no stickers. But there's that little pocket back there. And it has this. And of course, there's no dates. So then I had this 2024 and I wanted to see um, and so it is dated it's all the same as the other one okay but once again we got some more of these out here but once again, it was like, I don't know if it was a two pack. It might've been a two pack and that's why I have two of those. Sorry, I just keep hitting you with that thing. And then we have, oh, excuse my big old fat arm. <sighs> anyway, so then we have the blue one that's a hardcover. It's 2024. So they've been sitting around my house. Most in diary. How oh, Chanel. We got your planner monthly thing again. I might rip this out and put it in my other one. And I didn't know what this was gonna be. So this one ended up being lined as well. But it's a hardcover. 2024. And like I said, the date doesn't really matter because you can always just redate it. So I got those trying to see what they would be like. Um, and they were six, I think I may have paid $15 for all four of them together versus one. Okay, then I got this because I was looking for what was I going to do for my writing. You know, was I going to do a bound journal, whatever. But when I do a writing project, like novels, I have different pieces and stuff to do, to do, to do, to do. So I tend to like write on pieces of scrap paper or I'll write whatever's on hand, a sticky note, yada, yada, notes from my phone and then I got to print it out. And so I was like, no, that won't work too well. And then also I have, um, I like the discs on Happy Planner. And so I got the metal ones, but I have the, what you call it? The letter size, the, the big one. And uh, that's too big. It's just too big when I'm talking about trying to do stuff. So I got me a different one. And it was purple. I got a rings. So I got this purpley magenta one. It was an Amazon buy too. It's magnetic. I thought it was a, you know, I thought it was actually a snap. But it's magnetic. It's got a pin loop right here in purple. On the inside, you've got a, ooh, there's another one. you got another pin loop over here. You've got some pockets. Then you got a bigger pocket, excuse me. 
there is another pocket here and here. Oh, so it's six rings, A5. I have found that I'm definitely an A5 girl. B6 is too small. A6 is too small to do like stuff. <laughs> so I also went and got this pack of A5 grid paper because I told you I like grid paper, even though this grid is bigger. But I got some A5 to go in it at different times, plus all the other things that I have that I like write on index cards and yada yada and can stick them all in here for one project, which is the project that I want to work on for what is not going to be called National Novel Writing Month, which is going to be called the Rough Draft, Rough Draft Challenge by Sarah Cannon because of all the brouhaha with that. That is so sad. That's just like a knife to the chest. Oh, but you know, hey, whatever. All right, then I got some pins. So I'm hoping these are the real brands and not fake because I bought these before and they came in a different type of package, even though they were the same deal. So you got 10 of these vintage Sarasa 05s in vintage colors. I already have these sets, but I love them so much that I bought another set for next year because I'm already running out of this one because I used it so much. So I thought that was lovely and it was 10 bucks. And sometimes they want 10 bucks for just one of these and I just bit my lip. Mm. So I bought these, they are so lovely. I wish they came in a slightly smaller point, but the 05 is better than the 0.7 because I did get some of their um, different Sarasas that were 07s. Yeah. All right. Then I got these flare pins. They're glitter extra sparkle gel pin. And they came as a group too. You got two packs for six bucks, I think it is. And I was like, shut it up. And so I already had one set of these. Because I purchased them the same time I bought the other set of Sarasas. And so I was like, yeah, we're going to go get those again because I like them. And if you use them, they go, I don't want to say they go quickly, but you know, if you use them, they're going to go relatively. I mean, they're not going to last forever. <gasps> then I got these two. So fabulous. So I got these two sets of stickers. And so it says Night Fantasy and these, what is it, Nade sticker sheets from Amazon. But I think I'm just going to separate this video, though, and make this a separate video. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. And if you have any suggestions for any of the planners, especially the five-year planner, like how you would use it, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it greatly. See you guys later. Thanks. Bye.